Hello, adventurous travelers and friends, and welcome back to a Bragworthy Adventures video. I'm your host, Rose! Do you wish you could be a minimalist? Well, in this series, I'm going to show you how to stop wondering what if. What if you need those pants? Or that shirt? Or those 17 pairs of shoes? Or that snorkel? No longer will you overpack because we are going to test out travel clothing and make sure we know the best products to bring on a Bragworthy adventure. So this episode of my shopping series for travel clothes in order to help myself pack minimally, I'll come up with a better name, is my first uh, quote unquote episode and today we will be meeting raincoats and deciding which raincoat gets to accompany me on my Bragworthy adventure. So let us begin. Our first contestant is the lovely Columbia Arcadia 2 Jacket. This jacket costs $64 or around there. Who knows? There's sales right now because of Corona. And it is made of nylon. That's the waterproofing material. Contestant number one was labeled the best in lightweight rain jackets um, via my research. I'll put links below uh, to the sites and articles I read when I was determining what raincoats to buy. And they said it's breathable, which I think is really important when you're going to Southeast Asia, where it's probably gonna be muggy. So that is number one. Contestant number two is the REI Co-op Dry Point GTX jacket. This jacket costs $132. So this is the most expensive or high maintenance jacket um, that I purchased for this round of my shopping travel clothes series. And this jacket is made of Gore-Tex, which I had never heard of before my research meant to be a very lightweight jacket. In fact, it is only 8.6 ounces. Uh, so it is the lightest of all of these. Most of the jackets um, that I was looking at are around 10 ounces. So that's two ounces saved. Every ounce counts in your small bag. Contestant number three comes to us from Eddie Bauer. It's this beautiful green color. Um, and it is the Eddie Bauer rain foil packable jacket. Well, one of the features of the packableness is that it packs up into the pocket. You can see um, this right here labels it as packable. Um, it's heavier than the other ones, just feeling it right now. Um, it is made of polyester and it's about $85. I will be testing our three contestants on three factors. The first will be its ability to keep water out. As a rain jacket, that's its main purpose for me. Number two is going to be its packability. As much as I think I will encounter rain because I'll be in Southeast Asia, I've also planned out my route in a way to try to avoid much of the rainy seasons. So I'm hoping that this will stay packed in my bag and won't come out much. I'm hoping not to experience much rain, but I want it in case. So I wanna make sure it packs up small so it can be kind of shoved down in the bottom and, um, and not take up much room. And then number three is fit and style. Those are very important. If I don't like how it fits, I'm not gonna wear it. If I don't like how it looks, I'm not gonna feel good in it. If I'm gonna take this product with me to 12 different countries in, for six months and have it be the only rain jacket I have, it's got to make me feel good. So I am going to try them on here. I'll also try them on when I get sprayed down with a hose by my husband outside. Um, and then I will try packing them and you'll see throughout this process how each one behaves. And then I will have to make my determination on who will get the Bragworthy Adventure stamp of approval. In the same order they were, they were introduced, I'll give them a little try on and we'll see how they feel. So this is the Columbia, number one. Um, oh, I do like it has Velcro along with the zipper, so it really keeps that zipper secure. It looks like it also has uh, zippered pockets. It hits at a good spot. I like that it kind of covers some of my bum because sometimes you sit down on the like uh, on a surface or you lean back on a surface when it's still wet. Um, I will zip this buddy up. Um, I don't love. I can so. I'm very sensitive about feel. <laughs> I didn't even wear jeans until I was in middle school because I just felt they were too tight, too constricting. 
keep that in mind. As I tell you, I'm not loving the sleeve. I can feel the difference between the seam right here against my arm. And also the mesh is not super comfortable. So that is kind of irritating me, which it doesn't bode well for the Columbia jacket. Um, it does feel like weight. It doesn't feel heavy on me. It also doesn't feel too like, like I'm not building up too much heat. So I kind of do feel that breathability. It feels really airy. Um, let's check the hood out. Well, that's a good hood. I like that it comes across straight. I don't like when they cover my eyes too much. Um, so this one seems like the right size. And what's nice is if it's really, really, really stormy, it looks like I can Velcro up to there. So the only part peeking out is my little face. Now we will try on contestant two, REI. So they don't have Velcro, but they've got um, sort of bungee cords, but they do have zippered pockets. So this one's extremely lightweight. That one felt pretty lightweight, but this one is super lightweight. It doesn't have any mesh on the inside, except for like for the pocket, but for the actual lining, it's not mesh. It feels really smooth against me. Zipper looks really nice. Let's see. Oh, these pockets come like all the way up to my chest. The pockets are really big. Which means you can fit a lot in there. Oh, they do Velcro on the sleeve. Maybe it's because it's lightweight, but this one doesn't necessarily feel like it should be the most expensive jacket. Okay. So far, I'm liking it, but let's check out the hood. Oh, okay, we do have a problem there. If you couldn't tell when I put this on, it obscures my vision, which is just really frustrating, especially when it's already raining. You don't really want to stick your hand out so that things can drip on you. You just want to wear your raincoat. And usually what I want to do is put my hands in my pockets and not be bothered. But with this, I'll probably have to readjust my hood like all the time. So that's not great. They should probably have it back like that. I mean, maybe I can flip it back like that. Cause this part is, um, this end part right here is stiff. This part is not, but this little end part. So I guess if I was really worried about it, I could flip it up like that, although, do I look a little dorky? I don't know, you guys tell me. Not that it matters, at least I wouldn't be dry. Now, let's get to know contestant number three a little better. Come here, Eddie Bauer. Oh, again, we've got nice zippered pockets. I guess there's like a little clip up here, so you can clip this onto something. And there's also, a little guy to hang it on stuff. So that's nice, I guess. It also has Velcro over the zipper. This one seems to hit relatively in the same place as the Columbia did. The sleeves are a little longer, which I tend to like longer sleeves because I'm tall. And so I never really get to have that feeling of being like a little girl dwarfed in her clothing unless I get really big clothes. Um, that's kind of nice to me. Let's check out the hood. This one's also a little bit of a big hood. So it's got these kind of like, can you see this? It's got this like squeezy part, so maybe it's just too tight. After loosening it, it's at least a little better. Let's see how much coverage I get. Not bad, mostly just my little face. Um, it's definitely, this one feels a little heavier, thicker. Like the fabric, when you feel it, it's like kind of, it's kind of like multi-lined, it seems like. So it has, oh, it also has a hidden pocket right here. That's nice. I could hide my credit cards or stuff in there. 
but yeah, it seems multi-lined. Like there's the mesh and then there's a fabric and then there's this fabric. So it's a little thick, thicker than the other two felt. Now let's go outside and spray these babies down. Okay guys, and welcome to the voiceover portion of our video. So I wore a cotton shirt under each of the raincoats so that I could make sure to see visibly if any water got through. This is the first jacket, the Columbia, just spinning around, getting sprayed. I thought it looked really cool to see them close up. And my husband made sure to give extra aggressive sprays to very much determine the functionality. The REI jacket felt so light that I was honestly worried that water was coming through. Uh, but I didn't see any water come through when we finished and Michael sprayed me quite a few times at quite a few angles. You can see our cute little dog O'Reilly in the background also worried that my husband will spray him too. So I shook off the rain, took it off, no water got through. So on to the last jacket, which is the Eddie Bauer jacket. The Eddie Bauer jacket um, feels really thick so you don't really feel like water's gonna come through and it wicks it away just like the other ones. We did the same thing each time. Each jacket did not let rain go through. When it came to packing, I love to do the Marie Kondo method, but I wasn't about to do that with a raincoat. I wanted to try and roll it up teeny tiny into its own hood or something and just get it out of the way. So um, this one I tucked the hood in to roll it, just seeing if I could push it flat and roll it small. This is the Columbia jacket, number one. And it rolled relatively small, but still probably the size of uh, sandals, I guess. This one was number two, the REI. I folded in the sleeves and then the hood is so huge, I was like, oh, I'll just roll it into its own hood, which is one of the things it mentions on its website. So. Uh, I thought that would work just fine, and it did, and it was kind of nice to have the hood just sort of tuck it away into. The Eddie Bauer jacket was a frustrating mess. I am sorry to say, but they call it the packable jacket because it's supposed to pack into its own pocket, but trying to get it to pack into its own pocket is a mess. I tried one time that you don't even see on camera. This is the second try. The first try I zipped it up and tried to sort of like fold it nicely into the pocket. On this try, I just didn't care anymore. So I just shoved, shoved, and shoved. I tried to keep it on camera, but every once in a while I had to use leverage to get it in there. There's no way it should be this hard. And as you can tell from the footage, this takes twice as long as the other jackets to get it in its cute little packable pocket. So. It seems like a great idea, like, oh, packs in its own pockets, its own cute little container. But in actuality, getting it to fit in there, I, I couldn't even zip it up at the end. It didn't even seem to all fit in its own pocket, and it was a hassle to try and get it in there. So once I finished with that struggle, I took each one, and I wanted to show you visually how big they are. So that's a sunglasses case, and you can see, you know, the REI and the Columbia could squish down smaller, but the Eddie Bauer couldn't really squish down anymore. So that's the order of how I like them. Okay guys, we are back. We've tried the fit, we've tried the performance, and we've tried the packability, and I've got some opinions to share. But also, I want to let you know this is a hard decision. I was kind of thinking this would be fun to do sort of like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette where you know, you've got contestants and you pick the best one and that's the one that you quote unquote marry or in this instance goes with me on my trip. I kind of do feel like The Bachelorette because this isn't an easy decision. There are things I like about each one of these and things I don't like and uh, I want to feel really confident in my choice. So I think I have a choice made and I'm going to put it up here and then I'll explain why it gets the Bragworthy Adventures approval. It's a little surprising or not surprising that I chose the more expensive one. I am a woman of expensive tastes. But also, it's hard because I really like a lot about the Eddie Bauer jacket. The, the reason that it really got booted out at the end is the way it packed. It took me two tries to figure out how to get it in that pocket. Columbia kind of got kicked out at the start. I, I have such an issue with feel that the minute that it didn't feel right, it was out. Um, I tried to give it more of a chance and it did pack up relatively small, but I just, I stopped caring for it at that moment. And if I don't love it, it's not coming. The REI 
was so lightweight and because of its lightweight and thin material packed up so so tightly that it makes me feel confident that I can squish this into my bag even as I try and pack minimally and I know I'll probably have issues with that so the smaller this thing can pack the better. The only issue as you know on this one is the hood. I, I feel like this right here is something that can help me adjust the hood. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but when I pull on it, it pulls on something in the hood. So I think it's similar to the Eddie Bauer where you can adjust the hood somewhat. And I just need to get to know this jacket a little better. And I think I can adjust the hood and make it work. So here it is, my final decision. But that is all I have for this video. Please comment below what your thoughts were on each of the contestants, which one you would have chosen, and let me know what sort of other clothing items you might want me to review. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that YouTuber nonsense. I know YouTubers say this all the time, but I really am trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It's one of my goals this year. So if you could help me do that, Karma, coming your way. Good karma. Okay, tons of it. I'll just put it in the universe every morning and I'll send it straight to people who subscribe. Okay, that's my plan. So thanks again for watching. And as always, bye travelers.